Perfect. The floor is yours. Thank you so much. Hi everyone, my name is Sabina and my presentation topic is uh, new threats from insects pest in Abitibi Tamaskaman. So Canada's boreal regions are predicted to have increased deterioration rate from non-native forest pests in the future. The current project, our current project aims to identify any non-native insect pest in Abitibi Tamaskaman. We also anticipate to figure out the possible invasion pathways and establishment of non-native insect pests in response to the native insect communities, the strand structure and the forest composition. So overall, we want you to understand how the defilators affect the young stems in plantations versus the naturally regenerated stems. We also wanted to assess whether the non-native wood borers are being introduced either in major infrastructures such as mines or mills. As these non-native wood borers are often introduced in solid wood packaging materials that is used to import heavy equipment and material for the industry use that you might be aware with the, with the transport of such wire pools or cables, boxes for machinery, and et cetera. Or either they can be illegally transported by uh, human or uh, anthropogenic activities for the firewoods in the camping sites. So all in all, these factors can, at the end of the project, will be integrated into a comprehensive risk model, which aims to reduce the forest effects damage. So for this project, we uh, our objectives were three main objectives that were devised. The first one of the objective is to compare the herbivore community on white spruce in plantation versus the forest and to assess their damage. We, the second part of the project, the main objective was devised as to detect any potential exotic wood borers using pheromone traps along the latitudinal gradient. Third objective of this project was devised as to expand and adopt forest pest monitoring to, for the insect biodiversity inventory. So as for the first part of the project and our first objective, we mm -hmm. wanted to compare the herbivore communities in white spruce between the plantation and natural regenerated forests. We also wanted to compare the damage caused by the herbivore communities in these two habitat types. As you can see in the figure, the, on the left side, there's a, a young mm -hmm. spruce tree in the forest mm -hmm. habitat. And on the right side, there's a young spruce tree in the plantation habitat. Usually compare the difference between the two habitat types about the canopy openness, the light intensity, and the strand structure. So the two habitats were also compared and estimated for the predation pressure by sampling the herbivores and predatory insects. Insect herbivory has profound impacts on ecosystem processes and services, although many efforts have been done and made to recognize the main drivers that derive the insect herbivory at different scales, but the results are still inconsistent. Most of the time, studies address mainly the effect of interaction between one plant and one insect species. We propose three hypotheses for this defoliators part of the project that there will be higher abundance of the herbivores in plantation due to higher temperatures and better foliage quality. Our second hypothesis was proposing higher diversity of herbivores will, pre will be present in the forest um, due to the structural com complexity of the habitat type. And third of the of hypothesis of our project was that there will be better control for herbivore population by forest predators and parasitoids. These, in the map, you can see the, the sites for the forest and the plantation. We choose about 10 sites in plantation and 10 sites in forest near and around world WTB. Our methods included the sampling of herbivores in 2020 and 2021. In 2020, we choose to do the sampling through, um, I'm sorry, um, by um, hand picking and survey method. While in 2021, we choose to adopt the beach sheeting. For the uh, damage type, we choose the visual, uh, visual estimation for the shoot damage in 2020 and 2021. These are the, some of the common examples of native herbivores that were observed on the spruce white spruce trees in the plantation and forest habitat. The first figure is the spruce bird worm. The second figure is the, the middle one, um, the white spruce, uh, sorry, the white tussock moth caterpillar. And the third figure is the spruce cone gall at the effet. 
So first objective results, uh, our preliminary results showed that the filters on the white spruce showed higher abundance and diversity, as you can see in the graphs. In plantation, then the natural regenerated forest, but the damage levels were overall low in both the habitat types. We also visualized the simil similar pattern of, for the predator pressure in both the treatments. We will continue the sampling for 2022 in summer as well for the same objectives or for the same hypothesis. The common type of damages caused by the herbivores in uh, natural regeneration forest and the plantations were the first two figures represent the damage caused by the spruce birdworm in the spruce birds. The bottom left represents the damage caused by the uh, fungal disease um, to the shoots of the young spruce branches and the bottom right uh, represent the damage type caused by the saw fly in the white spruce. Damage for the total defoliation, we didn't find any significant difference between the two habitats. The total def defoliation was more or less similar between the two habitats. For all the damage types that we compared between the plantation and natural regeneration forest, we didn't find any significant difference between the two comparison, between the two treatments. But overall, higher damage was observed in plantation for the spruce galls and the terminal shoot blight. As you can see in the bulk, in the box plots, there was a higher damage rate in plantation observed rather than in the forest. Our second part of the project was uh, focused on the detection of any introduction of exotic wood borers. So we installed like 44 uh, we choose 44 sites in the seven blocks from Montreal to La Salle du Parquet. These seven blocks were divided into Mont Laurier, Verandre, Melatic Walto, Senator, Pont Cadillac, La Salle du Parquet, and Amos. Um, among 44 sites were chosen in which we installed the Lindgren funnel traps. This is one of the examples of the Lindgren funnel traps that we installed between the conifer trees. Um, we chose around 11 sites from the sawmills and 10 mines, 11 camping sites and 12 uh, control sites. This uh, lindgren pheromone trapping method was um, done in 2021, but in 2022, we are also planning to continue with the same methodology. We chose super lores that were comprised of uh, alpha piney, UHR, ether, ethyl alcohol, monochemol, fuscomol, and fuscomol acetate as the pheromones to, that is being attracting to the native wood borers as well as for the non-native wood borers. So for the 2021 sampling, we collected around 17,500 insects, among which 11,286 were longhorn beetles that comprised into 36 species. These 36 species were among which seven were more common in the sawmills and four were more common around, among the mines, while there was one species that was more common in the camping grounds. So for the genus Monocamus, we collected around 9,102 individuals and from the Tetropium species genus, we collected around 1,000 individuals. These are the figures of some of the common Monocamus, five Monocamus species and two Tetropium species. On the right side of the figure, they can see the adult longhorn beetles that are usually found in the scaries of the uh, conifers. The adults are more or less different, but the borers or the larvae are the most important part that cause the damage for the trees. These larvae, they feed on the tender bark of the twigs, then cause damage and then um, the young larvae, they live beneath the bark and the later installs tunnels in towards the heartwood. Prior, prior to the pupation, the larvae turns into the tunnel towards the surface and then it pupates and bring, comes out of the tree. Fixed. So our 2021 sampling 
uh, results or preliminary results suggest that there is a good news that we didn't find any of the non-native or invasive wood borers. So each of these rows represents a, a single species. For the sawmills, we found that the sawmills were more encouraging seven species um, among the seven blocks. The mines were encouraging the abundance of four species. And for the camping grounds, we only found one species that is being more encouraged. And that is Tetrupium species A. So as you can see in the box plots, there's a, some of the abundance for all the monochemous genus that were more common around the camping grounds, the sawmills and the mines. For the tetropium species, we found them more common around the sawmills and camping grounds. For the 2022, we plan to observe the sampling and uh, continue the sampling for the herbivore communities, as well as we are trying to uh, do some adult sampling for the moths communities as well in between the We will continue with the xylophages or wood borers. The same trial that will be continued for the intercept of to cover any intercept flight period that we missed in 2021. The Invasive spongy moth has also been observed in the region and sampling will be continued in 2022 to determine any northern limit of its distribution. Uh, thank you all for my supervisors and my collaborators and my lab mates for who helped me in this project for the to continue in 2022.